Hi everybody. Today I'm going to read you one of my new books. It's called There's a Dragon in Your Book. It's by Tom Fletcher. Now, when I read it this time, you're not going to be able to see all of the pages, but I'll make sure that I turn it around so that you can see the picture. So let's get started. Oh, look. There's an egg in your book. Hey, now, it looks ready to hatch. So, whatever you do, don't turn the page. But I think we should turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg hatched and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared, it's a baby dragon. Go ahead. Tickle her little nose. Tickle, 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 tickle. <gasps> Achoo! <laughs> what did we make the little dragon do when we tickled her? We made her sneeze. Oops. The dragon accidentally sneezed a fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Okay, I need you to help dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. Okay, so everybody take a big deep breath in. Get ready. Blow. Oh no, your dragon didn't blow out the fire. She blew more fire. Okay, carefully cover the flames by turning the page, tamp it down, and that should put them out. Okay, so we see the flames. We're going to turn the page. didn't work. They're getting bigger. Okay, don't get too close. Back up, back up, back up. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. What do you guys think we need to put out the fire? Hmm. Did I hear somebody say water? Oh, let's see. That's it. Okay, so I need you to use your imagination. To help put out the fire. I need you to imagine a great big water balloon. So tickle those little brains. We need to have a big water balloon right in the middle of the page. We need to make sure it's full and ready to pop. So tickle those brains. Imagine that big water balloon. Imagine it right in the center. And perfect. You guys did it. Now, use your finger to pop the balloon. Put that finger there. Ready? Pop and splash! Hooray, you put out the fire. Give the dragon a high five. You have a great imagination and dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again and think up a yummy treat for her? Hmm, I wonder what she likes. How about a triple scoop of yummy ice cold chocolate and strawberry ice cream? With sprinkles, of course. Doesn't that look so yummy? It looks so delicious. How do you think that she enjoyed it? <gasps> Yum, she said. Well, Dragon must be tired. After all that adventure, I think it's time for her to fly home. What does she need in order to fly? That's right, she needs her wings. She's probably very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Okay. So we need to flap the book up and down like giant, giant dragon wings. Since you guys aren't here to help me, I need you to stick your wings out at home and start flapping them like a dragon while I flap the book. Here we go. Almost there. Keep flapping. And there she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Everybody wave goodbye to Dragon. Okay, we got to turn the page. Hang 
on a second. What's this? Oh, look. What do we have? More eggs. Whatever you do, don't turn that page. But you know we're going to. Uh-oh. I think it's time to close the book. Carefully. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the book. I'll see you guys after spring break.